Welcome to Animals Under the Blanket. Today we're going to be talking about the letter C. And we have quite a few fun animals with the letter C. We're going to talk about a cassowary. We're going to talk about a cockatoo. We're going to talk about a cow, a cat, and a clownfish. So each one of those animals, there's one animal from the water in the sea, which is that clownfish. There's one animal from the air, which is that cockatoo. And then there's three animals today that live on the land, which are the cassowary, the cow, and the cat. Let's talk about cassowary. Okay. Cassowary Let's talk about the cassowary first. So they're the third largest bird um, behind only the emu and the ostrich. And what's the thing that they have on their head? They have a cast on their head. Crest. A crest. Yeah, a crest on their head. And they're not quite sure what that crest does, but a lot of them believe that it helps them make a very low sound in the rainforest where they live. Yeah. So they make almost as low of a sound as the human ear can hear. So the human ear can hear at about 20 decibels. What? And they go at 23, so just above. Where they go, tweet, tweet. <laughs> no, they actually kind of have a really low sounding voice. So it's very, it's kind of hard to hear because it's so low. But they also hiss and they whistle to communicate in the rainforest. But one was in the rainforest in that video on some were not. Yeah, and they were running pretty fast in the rainforest, right? Mm -hmm. Some were running up to 50 kilometers an hour throughout the rainforest Without the rain? well it doesn't always rain in the rainforest but they're called rainforest because they rain quite a lot so that's just that's just another note uh, to have um, so another thing about the cassowaries is that they eat lots of berries and what they help berries? make yeah they like to eat lots of berries and they move the seeds throughout the whole rainforest because in their poop the little seed grows out of it so they actually help the rainforest in a bunch of different ways by eating berries and then they fertilize yeah, the seeds to grow more cool hey joshua seeds to grow more. yeah and more 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 yeah um so there's three different types of cassowaries the southern cassowary is the largest that we're going to talk about. So it's between four to five and five and a half feet. That's the daddy. Yeah. And the daddies, they weigh a little bit less than the females. They weigh about 121 pounds. Whereas the mums, the, the women, they weigh about 167 pounds when they're full grown. So they're, they're a little bit bigger than the males. And another interesting fact, Joshua, is that in good care, they can live between 50 and 60 bigger years. And bigger and bigger and bigger, that's the daddy. Yeah? Is most daddies bigger that you know? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> yeah. And, and bigger an, and little and Yeah. And, little and the cassowary, Joshua, they have a funny thing on their neck. On, on some of the species. Okay, but we're, we're going to stay back here by the microphone today, okay? But I want to see closer. we got to record it so people can listen on our podcast, right? And what's our podcast called? No. It's called No? No, it's called Animals Under the Blanket. And it's called No. It's called No. Okay, so let's those... Let's talk about our No. So those things... Did you see let's those... Let's talk about No. Let's talk about no, 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 no. Uh -huh. That doesn't make any sense. Let's hey, talk about lots of animals. So yeah, let's talk about lots of animals. One animals Can I tell that you? say with a S. An S? <laughs> well, we'll get to S in a, in a while. S is near the end of the alphabet. Do you remember what the cassowaries have on a. their necks? Did a. you see that little thing? It was colored on their neck. It's, it's called a wonderful wortles. Not all of them have it, but two out of the three species have those little wortles. So they kind of look like a turkey gullet. And they're very, very colorful. The ones that we saw were red and blue. So
So I wanted to tell you about the eggs. The eggs, what color were they? Do you remember? Brown. Brown? Wow, they were green. They were green eggs. And after they were laid, do you remember who took care of the cassowary eggs? Mm -hmm. Was it the mommy or the daddy? Daddy. The daddy cassowary takes care of all the eggs. And he stays with them for their first nine months of life after that. And then when they're born, they hatch. Yeah, when they're born, they hatch. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And then they're, they're big, big birds. They can jump super high. The cassowaries can jump higher than they are tall. So they're about five and a half feet, and they can jump seven feet. No. Seven feet in the air. No, ten. Well, not quite ten, but they could jump right over Daddy's head. Cause Daddy's six feet. He, they could jump right over Daddy's head. Is that a really tall jump? No. No? Is it a short jump? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I guess you have higher... Uh, jumping uh, abilities than I do, or desires. Um, no, the cassowaries. The, um, daddy is high, high, high up in the air. Yeah, I have one more fun fact for you. A group of cassowaries is called a shock. So when they have a bunch of cassowaries all together, you could say, "Look at that shock of cassowaries." Can you say shock of cassowaries? And I almost forgot the one other thing, the scientific name. We got to try and say the scientific name of a cassowary is a casuaris. Casuaris. A casuaris. A casuaris? Yeah, a casuaris. That is awesome. So now, do you want to move on to another land animal? Or do you want to talk about a sea animal or an air animal? A sea creature. Let's talk about the clownfish. And was, Did you know that clownfish, a, all the babies are born male? And what was inside that shell? Oh, you want to talk about how the clownfish had babies? No, no. How, what was in the shell? Oh, what was in the shell? When we watched, they were trying to find a home and bring it back to their anemone. So the clownfish were trying to bring a shell that had a hermit crab in it. And when they realized that it had a hermit crab, they decided to go instead with a coconut. Did they push that coconut to their anemone? Do you remember that? No, they found something different. They found a water bottle that didn't quite work first. And then they found a coconut shell. And they brought no, it back to the anemone. No, they found something that was a, um, you don't remember? Nothing that was, it was a, um, uh, well, that's okay if you don't remember. So then they brought the coconut back to the anemone. And they actually only have one female in their group. Whoever is the most dominant is the female. So I'll leave the parents up to thinking about if Finding Nemo's father was really his father. What's his father? Yeah, do you remember Finding Nemo? Uh -huh. What was that kind of fish called? Was it a, a clownfish? Uh-huh. Yeah, the Finding Nemo is a clownfish. Um, Nemo and said Nemo... Clownfish, his Nemo the clownfish is red. Is that, that like a reddish orange? Mm -hmm. Orange and white stripes? There's actually 30 different species of clownfish. So they come in a number of different colors, but Nemo became the most popular because of the movie. A lot of kids wanted a, a Nemo clownfish. I don't know what the proper name is, but... And then, and then... Is Finding Dory one. There's also Finding Dory one. Mm -hmm. Is Nemo in that movie too? Mm -hmm. As well as, uh, what's what's his? Do you remember what his dad's also, name is? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't pull on this, please. Who's his dad's name? I'm not remembering. Do you remember? I don't. Hmm. Oh well, that's okay. And let's try. Here, sit up beside me. Yeah, sit up. But I like being on your legs. You want? You want to be on my legs? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, give me all my legs over here. On the, on the, the side. Oh, yeah. Okay, sit aside. Okay. Um, that makes more sense. Um, Do we say the scientific name yet? Let's say the scientific name of a clownfish is Amphiphorinae. Amphiphorinae. Can you say Amphiphorinae? That's pretty close. I have to say that one is really hard. As you'll see on the YouTube video, that name is very long. I try <laughs> rabbit, rabbit. I'm hunting a rabbit to fly in the air to yeah. you. Ooh, it flew in the air to me. Do you want to know how long a clownfish lives? No, a bunny. A bunny? I don't know how long a bunny lives. They, they probably live not as long. They probably don't live as long as a clownfish. The clownfish lives, well, maybe longer. Six to ten years is how long a clownfish lives. Uh, not right now, bud. We're going to keep playing animals under the blanket. Okay, so that's one fact about a clownfish. They get oh. about four oh. and a half oh. inches, or in oh, centimeters, no. it's about double, so about 10, oh, ten, no. 10 centimeters. Oh, no. And Joshua, that that uh, anemone, you saw, that, you saw the thing at the bottom of the water? Mm-hmm. It actually has electronic electric current in it and a lot of fish if they touch it they actually die but the clownfish and the anemone have a deal where the clownfish helps clean out the anemone and the anemone helps protect the clownfish from other predators isn't that cool partnership why do when do they touch it so other fish might come swimming along and then pretend you're the anemone they come swimming along and they would touch the anemone and they go and then the fish would pass away. But the clownfish has a special ability to get shocked by the anemone, but don't, it doesn't get hurt at all. So they have built resistance to that. Is crawling away with the boo. What's crawling away with the what? The... I can't hear you. The microphone's over here. No, instead, I'm a... the crab that they found. The crab that they found? Mm-hmm. Okay. You like that crab that the clownfish found? Mm-hmm. The hermit crab? Mm-hmm. I'm the hermit crab. You're going to be a hermit crab? <laughs> Hermiting? And the hermit crab has left the building. Are we under the blankets? We have so many blankets here. How many? One, How? two, three, four. Four blankets. One, two, three, four. I mean, four, four. There's one on the floor. Okay, Josh. Uh, so we talked a little about a clownfish. Should we move on to an animal that's in the air or another one that's on the land? And the sea. Oh, we talked about our sea animal. Let's talk about it again. A li- one more f- fact about a clownfish that you wanted to share? In the video, they have a cool clicking noise to communicate. Can you try a click? Click, click. Yeah, that's super fun. So I'm thinking about moving on to either a cat or a cockatoo. Which one would you like to talk about? I would like to talk about maybe... Come on, I'm thinking about a cat. You're thinking about a cat? hmm Okay, let's talk about cats. What do you want to share about cats? You know quite a bit about cats. They have long ears. They have long ears? No, a little bit more shorter. A little shorter and pointier? <laughs> and what do they have coming out their face? Whiskers. Can you say it a little bit louder? Whiskers! Whiskers! Yeah, they have whiskers. Whiskers! 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 whiskers. I'm, I'm, I'm whispering. Okay, and then what kitty does... Kitty cat! And what does a kitty cat say? Meow! Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about kitty cats mixed up with cats. Yeah, you can kind of mix up kitty cats with cats because... Kitty cats start with a K. Yeah, kitty cat starts with a K and cat starts with a... A C. A C, yeah. What else do you know? Something. I don't even know what you said. Suppy. Suppy? 
What? Stu oh, you have a stuffy cat? Mm -hmm. What is your stuffy cat called? Marva. Marva? I call her Marva because Mallory has a Marva. Mallory has a Marva, so you called a Mar. You called your kitty cat Marva, mm -hmm. and that was her name. But, but she doesn't say Marva on her tag. No, she doesn't say Marva on her tag. You're right. But you gave her that name, which is so cool. What else do you know about cats? Special. Let's talk about the scientific name. name. Okay, let's get the scientific name done. For a cat is Felis Catus. Can you say that? Felis Catus Doe. Felis Catus Doe. That would be a cat plus a doe. Doe a deer, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's doe a dump truck. What? Doe is a dump truck? Uh-huh. Okay. Doe the dump truck. Okay, so doe before I said the, the cassowary can jump about seven feet, do you think that a cat can jump more than seven feet or less than seven feet? Less. Less? You would be surprised because a cat can jump eight feet. It's is that su That's higher than a cassowary. And the 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 cats are smaller. I'm looking into if there's any fishes for a bear. You're looking for any fishes for a bear? Mm -hmm. Well, you're not gonna find any fishes in my legs. There's no fishes in there. <laughs> Here, you wanna know something interesting about meowing? Mm-hmm. So cats? <laughs> yeah, cats only use their meow to talk to humans? And their their kitty cats say meow to say to tell where their mother to help their mother find out where they are, but when they're talking to each other, they don't they don't meow. It's kind of weird. They don't meow meow. Yeah, they don't meow meow. And another they, another fun. Yes, they do meow meow. To humans, yeah, but not so much to each other. And yes. they they only sweat Joshua out of their paws. Only out of their paws do they sweat. Not nowhere else in their body. So if they are running, 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 and they're getting all sweaty, it's only in their paws. Whereas humans get sweaty everywhere. Everywhere. On their bodies. Yeah. And a group of oh no no you have, you have to keep this one. Uh, you want to know what a group of cats I'm is called? Hot. You're warm. I'm warm, so I have to take my pants off. Should we put on shorts? We'll be right back after we put on some shorts. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Let's talk so about I want to make it through. I want to make it through all the animals that I had planned. Let's leave. Do you want to know what a? Oh, and we're back. We've got shorts on the boy. Are you? Do you feel better now? Mm -hmm. Feel better now that you're in shorts. Mm -hmm. That's good. Do you want to know what a group of cats is called? Um, maybe yeah. Maybe yeah. It's called a cl clouder. A clouder of cats. Clownfish again! Isn't that cool? So we're going to keep moving so that we can get all the animals. Bef so that we can get all the animals. Uh, so cats. Is there is there any other cats? We're, so we're talking kind of about a house cat. But is there any other types of cats? Big lion. Big lion? <laughs> is that a type of cat? That's not a house cat. That's not a house cat? It's a zoo cat. That's a zoo cat, yeah. <laughs> or in the wild. I'm a mountain lion. You're a mountain lion? <laughs> Climbing to the top of a mountain? <laughs> That's another type of cat? Come, 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 climb. I'm going to climb up to your head. Climb up to my head because you're a mountain lion? <laughs> What other? Ma. Is there any other group of cats that you know? Climb, 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 You have now made it onto my head. Hi, mountain lion. Whoa. I'm a mountain lion. Whoa. Climb, 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 climb. That was good climbing. You're not a lion. Is there any other types of cats? Climb, that... climb, climb. I'm going to climb through your head again. 
One more climb to my head. <laughs> climb, 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 climb. Oh, I'm a mountain lion. You're a mountain lion? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hi, mountain lion. Is there any other big cat that you know? That I know. A mountain lion still. <laughs> You're a mountain lion still? You could be a mountain lion, but could you tell me about any other big cats that you know of? Um... Boo at the zoo. Boo at the zoo? <laughs> Was there any other big cat that you saw at the zoo? Boo at the zoo, a tiger. A tiger? A tiger is another big cat. You're right. That's cool. And a jaguar. And a jaguar is another big cat? <laughs> is there so many big cats? Lying down. You're lying down like a cat? Cats actually lie down for most of the day. In the sun. Sometimes in the sun. Uh, so all cats kind of lie down and sleep for lie long, down. long periods. Lie down. Oh, I can't lie down. I have to be by the microphone. I, but I don't. Well, yeah, it's better if you're by the microphone. But Daddy, uh... But I'm rolling away. Oh, you're gone. <laughs> okay. So Joshua, <laughs> let's move on to the next animal. I'm you're back? <laughs> no, I'm going gone. No, I'm gone. Okay, so Joshua, we were talking about cats. Is there anything else you want to talk? tell us about cats? Cheetah! Cheetah's another type of cat. Wow, cheetah is one of the fastest animals in the world, and it's a cat. Yeah, that's like a cheetah. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. All right. Look. On your mark, get set, go, cheetah, go. Look how I start. How do you start? <laughs> and the cheetah's off and running. It's going as fastest as it can. It's the fastest animal in the world. Stop. And then you stop. <laughs> and then you go again. Cheetah, cheetah, cheetah. Stop. And then stop. And then cheetah, 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 cheetah. That's so fun, Josh. Cheetah again. Starting cheetah, go. Starting cheetah, go. Wow, you're so fast. So, Joshua, tell me, do you want to talk about, oh, which ones have we got left here? Do you want to talk about a cow or a cockatoo? Cockatoo. A cockatoo? Mm -hmm. A cockatoo for you? Mm -hmm. Cockatoo does. The cockatoo that I was soup in the, in the toilet paper. <laughs> There's a cockatoo that slipped in the toilet paper? Because cockatoos are often people's pets. They, they are one of the favorite pets of bird owners. Like they make very one. good pets. Do you want to start off with what their scientific name is? Mm -hmm. Their scientific name is cat. Scientific cat name is Diablo. So it's cat, cat, cata, tuaday. Cat, cat, tuaday. Cat, cat, tuaday. Can you say cat, cat, tuaday? Cat, cat, two, cat. That's very close. And a group of cockatoos is called a cackle, a cackle of cockatoos. So if you ever see a lot of uh, cockatoos in a pen or something or in a in a cage or in the wild and you could say look at that cackle of cockatoos cackle cackle uh, of cockatoos cackle is starting off with the scientific name yeah we start off with a scientific name starting for the off scientific Name again! Yeah. You want to say the scientific name again of cockatoo? Mm -hmm. It's a cacatuidae. Cacatuidae. Yeah, just like that. Wound the dune. Wound the dune. Uh, so cockatoos can live. Wound the dune. Cockatoos can live between 20 and, and 70 years. Somebody. So it's a pretty wide range of how long they can live. Babies, babies, I want babies. That's what he's saying? 
You're being pretty loud. And did you know that the loudest, the loudest bird in the world is a cockatoo? It's the no, it's the noisiest bird. Are you gonna bring some berries? Yes, berries. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Eating some berries here. More berries, more berries. He's saying more berries, more berries. All right, that sounds good. A uh, few more berries. berries. Um, nom, nom, nom. So the birds that we're talking about, they're pretty small. Between my berries. He's saying the, my cockat berries. the cockatoo is. My berries. My berries. The cockatoo. Con cons is of conservation. C -c -c Constellation? Mm -hmm. Or conservation? Constellation. What's a constellation? I have five green bats. In the nighttime. Something that's in the nighttime. You're right. <laughs> it's a star cluster. That that is what that is. Uh, so the cockatoos so, are pretty small. Half a pound to two two and a half pounds maybe. Shantulation got shantulation got stretched. Okay. I have a few more fun things to tell you about cockatoos, and then we'll move to cows. Okay. Mm -hmm. A few more fun things. The cockatoo is largely a monogamous bird. So that means that it stays with its partner. So they mate for a long, long time. They, they just like mommy and daddy are monogamous. Monogamous. We only have mommy and daddy. They're they're the only ones for us. They're and the, the cockatoos are similar. They're the only ones for you. Yeah, exactly. And they they tend to court each other by by preening, and that means like kind of like cleaning up the other person. They kind of like have little nibbles at each other to clean up. Um, and unlike other birds, the cockatoo are, is a word, is a fancy word, oh. diamorphic. That's a bird and... They're diamorphic, which means that they are basically the same if they're a men or... and a, and a tylophosaurus. Tylophosaurus? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So with that, that, that funny word that I just said, it means that they look the same. The mummies and the daddies... You're a big, big monster. I'm a big, big guy? Monster. Monster? What's a monster? A type of elephant. A type of elephant, you think? <laughs> huh. Yeah, an elephant that's a monster. You think so? <laughs> I want to lift you, elephant. Lift me, elephant? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you lifted me. Up. Up. Down. And down. <laughs> Lift up, call it. Oh, lift up. And down. Lift up, call Lift up. <laughs> and down. Okay. Lift up, call it down. Lift up, car down. So, Joshua. Lift up, call it down. You, your elephant. Down, Kate. down. Okay, you're wiggling a little too much. Okay, we gotta just. We gotta talk about our animals a little bit more, right? Just talk about the cow. Okay, let's move on towards the cow. Should we get the scientific name for a cow? No, let's just. Okay, token, fun facts token. about cows. Cockatoo! What else did you see the cockatoo do? Bird, bird. They were, they were quite a nice bird. Mm -hmm. They have a big crest on their head, right? Wake up. And it kind of goes. <laughs> Above their head. A cockatoo has a crest like a, like, a like with feathers. Other, like that, of a big bird. The cassowary? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cassowary, it kind of, the, the crest on top of its head is hard. But the crest on top of a cockatoo is just feathers, so it kind of pops its feathers up and pops them back. Yeah. So, the scientific name of a cow. The cockatoo. Of a, of a cow, which, what, what was that one? It was. Huh? Boss Taurus. Can you say Boss Taurus? Boss Taurus. Yeah. Boss Taurus us. Yeah, so the cows, their eyes are on the side, like this, instead of in front. So they can actually see almost 360 degrees. So they can see predators coming from all sorts of different angles. And if, then they get alerted, and then they can start running away. Yes, they don't. And the cows? Yes, they don't. Where and the cow... Where have you seen cows? Have you seen... Cows on the farm as we drive by on the highway? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's what the car sounds like. And then what do the cows sound like? Moo, 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 moo. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what the cows sound like. Barracuda. What a what about a barracuda? <laughs> you remember from the bees, the barracuda swims slowly to eat the lionfish. <laughs> and then this is your hand motion of extra slow barracuda movements that he's been doing ever since our fir- our bee episode. So you can go back and listen to that. I have a few more facts about cows for you. Do you know that they don't have any upper teeth? They're like this. And they munch. They push everything against their top palate. Because they don't have teeth there. Isn't that silly? You weren't supposed to actually bite me. No, I'm not. No, just pretend? Okay. Uh, What else did I find out about cows? Do you know they have a bunch of stomachs? That's how they root. Um, the microphone and then bite it all gone. No, don't bite it all gone. <laughs> that would be very, very silly. And then he would have no animals under the blanket. Yeah, we would have no animals under the blanket if you bit off the microphone. <laughs> what color is a cow? Brown sometimes. Brown and white. And white and and sometimes it's black and white. And sometimes. And what do we all get from what do we all get from cows? Do we get milk from them? No, chocolate milk. We get chocolate milk from them. They give us the white milk and then it goes to the manufacturer to make it chocolatey. And that's one of my favorite drinks is chocolate milk. And then it goes all the way, all the way, all the way back in the cow's stomach. Yeah, so speaking of their stomachs, they kind of have four places where they their stomach is at is is, is processing their food. Bump. They have four places. Ouchie, ouchie, bonk, bonk, bonk. Mhm. Ouchie, ouchie. You want to know? You want to know the fun, the funny words for their stomachs? Mhm. Okay, so they have the wreck. The rectilium, the alcium, the absum, and then they have one stomach. Scientific name. Scientific name of the cow? (laughs) Boss Taurus. Thanks so much for listening to Animals Under the Blanket. Um, See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. In a while, crocodile. (laughs) Thanks so much for listening and check out The next letter, D is for, and we'll talk about a bunch more animals next time on Animals Under the Blanket.